just passed 4 million total confirmed cases um, and over 145,000 deaths. But those confirmed cases um, really only tell part of the story since we know that cases and deaths are undercounted due to lack of testing, uh, particularly at the beginning of the pandemic when only those with significant illness were tested and there were shortages and problems with the test. So, you know, we know that there is a significant amount of asymptom spread, asymptomatic spread um, that isn't captured in those testing numbers, particularly in places um, that still lack access to widespread testing. Testing uh, is the foundation of a modern public health approach to controlling a virus. So we have lots of tools in our toolkit, but at the very foundation uh, is testing. So is this surprise? No, because we've had problems with our testing from the very, very beginning and we're playing catch up and we continue to be playing catch up uh, to try to really get a understanding um, of, of where we are. And then we can go and use contact tracing uh, to really uh, limit the, the, the spread, but we, we can do better and we need to do better. It, is, it remains that many cases are um, mild um, and are not severe enough to be hospitalized or, or cause severe illness. And of course, that's a good thing. The flip side of that is the spread. So if there are mild or asymptomatic cases um, that and people don't know that they're sick, then that's contributing to spread, which is, um, if not identified, then that keeps us in this situation even longer where we're not containing the spread. You know, achieving herd immunity varies by disease. Um, for what we know about SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, um, it's estimated to be about 60 to 70 percent of the population would need to be infected and have antibodies in order to reach um, herd immunity. And that's based on the basic, you know, R not reproductive number, which indicates the average number of new people that a single infected person can expose and infect. Uh, for context, the flu um, is about 1.3, coronavirus is between you know, two and three, meaning it's a highly contagious disease. So um, even at the higher end of the estimates of what we expect the true number of cases to be, we're still, um, you know, the majority of the country is susceptible. We're still, you know, less than 5% of the population is infected. So, you know, what does it take in order to reach that herd immunity? It's gonna take a vaccine. you know what the vaccine uh would if if it passes the safety um and efficacy trials and is considered a success what this would mean is that people can have access to a vaccine that will be able to um, create immunity and um prevent spread now it's also very likely so as we're learning about immunity and length of uh immunity that this uh, vaccine would likely have to be annual, so similar to way that the way that the flu vaccine is an annual vaccine. But this remains to be seen still.